I'm confident that given the work accomplished so far, we are ready to handle all the NDR petitions optimally, including taking care of the anticipated scenario where we have an increase in the number of petitions compared to those launched in the previous NDR cycles. But in all this, we keep praying that the IBC will conduct elections in a way that engenders confidence of the people so that the results that they announce will be accepted by many people and that way we will have less disputes. The JCE undertook a review also of our roles, drawing lessons from the 2017 general election cycle. After that, they held debriefing workshops, developed a memorandum on areas of reforms touching on NDR and engaged the legislature and other institutions in the electoral justice space on the need for legislative reforms. And for this, I'm happy to report, ladies and gentlemen, that we have secured an improved NDR legal framework through these reforms, uh, mentioning the Political Parties Act and the Elections Act. And these reforms, as you are aware, include expanding the membership of the Political Parties Disputes Tribunal, where we got UNDOC members. And through this, we were able to decentralize the PPDT, thus deepening access to justice, because people did not have to travel to Nairobi to launch their disputes with the Political Parties Disputes Tribunal. <laughs> 